Good morning, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. You can't, you know what, let me read, let me point something out right quick. You can't. Go to God saying what I did. You can't go to God saying, Lord, look at what I did. Will this save me? It is grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. We didn't earn it, and we certainly don't deserve it. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever... Here's the key word. Believe in him. Will not perish, but have eternal life. When you put yourself in it, you believe in yourself. You don't believe or trust what God already accomplished, what he already did through Jesus Christ. What he did by putting Christ on the cross, burying him and raising him up on the third day. You can't put yourself in it. When you finally come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a savior, it's only one, and you put your faith and trust in Christ, you are justified by the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you and the Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption according to Ephesians 4.30. You cannot lose your salvation. You are sealed until the day of redemption. I had to get that out there. You cannot, you can't <clears throat> say, well, Lord, look at what I've done. <clears throat> look at what uh, I've done. I did, I did this and I did that. Yeah, but did you believe? Did you, do you trust me at what I already did? With Jesus Christ and his blood? <clears throat> I've said this before. The one thing that people miss is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is omitted more than anything. That's a mistake. Major mistake. I'm coming on early because I have to go pick up my son from practice. So this is serious. And I also got notice from my one of my subscribers, Jim. He lives in Canada. Canada, he works for a trucking company. Okay. <clears throat> The trucking company, according to what he's saying, he can't bring any more trucks in until they get the you-know-what. Well, that's going to cripple the trucking industry, especially in Canada. Now, I don't know <clears throat> if that has anything to do with the states. I haven't heard anything else yet. But he just sent this out to me this morning. This is going to cripple Canada and possibly trickle down to the United States. I'm not sure. Nobody else has mentioned Line 5, the uh, oil pipeline that's in uh, parts of Michigan. <clears throat> I'm looking for stuff about that as well. So I wanted to let you know, and I'm looking for something about that as well, about the truckers. That's going to have a very bad effect on the trucking industry there. Big time. This just came out this morning, and I think I hit on something about this last night. Russia threatens to destroy 32 NATO satellites to cripple missile systems. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, I mentioned a little bit of this last night. Russia's new weapon dubbed Star Warrior has the West worried. They are panicking in, pen in the Pentagon right now as it can blast satellites out of orbit at heights up to 500 miles above the Earth. Vladimir Putin's state-owned TV issued a chilling threat that Russia may deploy the system to use, system to destroy some 32 Western satellites to render NATO missiles useless. Now, remember last night I was saying that the two generals, Russian General and Mike Mealy-Me, was on the phone with each other? This could be what's going on. It comes after Russia used the weapon to destroy a redundant Soviet-era 
uh, Teslina demilitary reconnaissance uh, satellite, blasting it into an orbital debris storm. Intelligence sources in the West and Russia believe the hunk of space junk was annihilated by the new satellite killer missile system. This this is bad. The weapon <clears throat> has been dubbed the Star Warrior by state Russian media, and it's the next step in an orbital, orbital arms race. Putin tested the missiles nine times between 2014 and 2020 before it was deployed to destroy an actual satellite on November 15th, according to Moscow-based Centra for analysis of strategic and technologies. Um, State-controlled Russian uh, Channel 1 TV host Dmitry Kalsalov dubbed Putin's mouthpiece and propagandist-in-chief has claimed the satellite strike was a deliberate warning to the West not to cross the Kremlin's red line on the on Ukraine. He boasted in the event of worsening relations, Russia could wipe out 32 GPS satellites crucial for NATO's military operations, including the pinpointing of missile strikes. We shot down the old Soviet uh, Teslina uh, Tes- D satellite in space orbit. I'm going to link this article in the description box. Things are heating up every minute now. Especially with Russia. Like I said last night, Israel, between Israel and Russia, keep your eyes on these two. Big time. Because neither one of them are playing. Israel, I don't blame Israel for defending itself. It deserves that right to defend themselves against a nuclear attack. And they should obliterate Iran, as far as I'm concerned. This guy is going off the deep end right now. But I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen out of this. Um, I got to go. I will be back with the next video. Um, have a blessed day. Thank you.